what is up everybody afik here and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing well and staying safe the Perodua Myvi, here in Malaysia at least, needs no introduction. It is the best-selling national car for many years. It even has its own little nickname, hashtag MyVKing or hashtag King of the Highway. All jokes aside though, the third generation Perodua Myvi is generally a good car. Affordable, reliable and features that makes cars twice or triple its price can be a shame of. Being one of the best-selling model here in Malaysia, Perodua could just be comfortable and do nothing to the Myvi. Instead, they have decided to invest 50 million ringgit of R&D and give the Myvi a facelift. And boy, is the Myvi a better than ever car now. Without further ado, this is ABB Automotive. The exterior of the Pro 2 has been given some nip and tuck. There is a new, slightly reworked front bumper, grille and headlamp details which are now standard LED on all variant. Down below, gone are the fog lamps and in its place a vertical LED daytime running light which makes the MyV the first ever Pro 2 to have this feature without needing to add on any body kit like its smaller brother the Pro 2 Beza. Those LED DRLs, however, are only available on the upper two trims. Speaking of the trim, there are actually a total of 5 trim levels to choose from. The base MyV 1.3G, which you can either have with or without Produa's Smart Driver Assistant or PSDA. The 1.5X variant, the 1.5H, as well as the top of the range 1.5 AV. Moving to the side, not much has changed. All variants except the base 1.3G gets the rather familiar carried over 15 inch alloy wheel finished in a rather nice two tone color. The upper two variants also gets a two tone side skirt, while all model gets a black outside mirror with turning indicator. The chrome door handle is also reserved for the upper two trim. Moving to the back, the new rear bumper completes the updated exterior update. The design is simpler but in my opinion better overall compared to the older car. The most expensive My VAV variant is the only one that gets a reverse camera and the location of the camera lens is nicely integrated into the rear hatch handle. Overall, the update to the exterior of the My V is enough to distinguish it over the older car. Under the hood, you will find a carried over engine from the pre festive MyV. The base MyV G Spec is powered by a 1.3 liter dual VVTi 4 cylinder petrol engine that produces 94 horsepower with 121 Nm of torque. All other MyV gets the familiar 1.5 liter dual VVTi 4 cylinder petrol engine that produces slightly more at 102 horsepower and 136 Nm of torque. What is new, however, is the transmission. Gone is the dated old 4 speed automatic, and in its place is a new DCVT unit straight from its larger sibling, the Produa Ativa. Manual, however, has been dropped completely from the lineup. In terms of safety, this is where the Produa MyV really shines. The PSDA features the original ASA safety feature along with the updated ASA 3.0 system. 
these two system which is a standard equipment on all Pro Dua Myvi except for the base 1.3G variant. Bundles together a bunch of major other systems such as pre-collision warning with braking and pedestrian detection, automatic high beam, lane departure warning with prevention assist, as well as front departure alert. Standard safety feature on all Pro Dua Myvi include 4 airbag, stability and traction control as well as heel start assist. Opting for the top of the range Pro Dua Myvi AV further adds on more other system to the PSDA. With adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert as well as lane keeping control. With the addition of the later system, this effectively makes the Pro Dua Myvi the cheapest car in Malaysia with a level 2 semi-autonomous capabilities. Personally for me, this is nothing short of impressive. I applaud Produa for bringing this feature down to the masses, one that I wish more manufacturer will follow. The interior of the MyV has gotten some update as well. First of all, only the top of the range MyV gets these red highlights around the center air vents as well as the outer air vents. This is a fixed color, no matter what exterior color you choose. The updated touchscreen infotainment system still does not offer any Apple CarPlay or Android Auto but the UI is better and similar to the ones on the larger Ativa. I found the overall interface to be better and much more responsive. Speaking of the Ativa, the steering wheel is also taken straight from that larger sibling, which feature leather wrap as well as multi-function capabilities. The two-tone red and black leather seat that you see here is only exclusively available for the top of the range uh, Myvi AV. The design, however, is the same. Another thing that I found that is unchanged is the lack of center armrest or center console like most of its competitors. Lastly, the top spec Pro Dua Myvi also gets a built-in dash cam and a new TFT display as well as speedometer. The speedometer in particular I find much better with the needle being thinner compared to the older model. Lastly, there are also some updates made to the aircon switch which now features a more standardized font. Overall, the interior of the Myvi feels familiar with much welcome update. Okay guys, so right now I'm sitting in the back seat of the MyV, just like the previous uh, pre-pressed model, not an issue in terms of space, okay? Leg room, plenty of leg room, head room is also uh, quite good. And this front seat is adjusted for my driving position, I am 165cm high, okay? So in terms of amenities, we do have uh, two uh, Tetarik Tapau hooks, just like the old car, okay? And then you have a USB charger over here next to the chair, and then the floor is relatively uh, flat for the two uh, side passenger, there is a little bit of cup in the middle, but not an issue. You also have two cup holders, okay, uh, in the middle here, okay. So the seat itself, safety wise, also quite good. You do have isofix uh, child mount, so for parents putting in a uh, baby chair, not an issue as well. And then just like the old car, the MyV uh, rear seat back can also be adjusted to angle, okay. So overall, I would say the back end of the MyV is still one of the most comfortable and roomy V segment uh, hatchback in the market. So overall, I give the back end of the MyV a thumbs up. Okay, guys. So I've been driving the MyV for a while now. So first impression. Uh, in terms of dynamics, it feels like all my way, no, no changes there. But then, um, so the, the highlight of this car is definitely the new DCVT gearbox. Okay, so this DCVT gearbox is uh, brought from the Activa. So, under normal driving condition, I would say the responsive is actually quite good, miles better compared to the old 4 speed AT. Like, even going up a hill, I didn't even like press the accelerator deep it automatically goes to the lower ratio on its own. I didn't even press the pedal deeper, okay? And then, um, acceleration-wise, um, yes, um, Produa claimed that the new car is now 0 to 100 in 10.2 seconds. It's definitely faster over the old MyV, the 4-speed AT. I myself, under full throttle, um, yes, the CVT is loud, normal with every CVT, but 
I look at the speedometer, it gradually goes up uh, 200 uh, quite fast actually compared to a regular uh, old 4-speed uh, AT. So overall, I think it's a relevant choice so for what to bring the DCVT into this uh, MIP. And then in terms of build quality, I would say also actually quite good. Like touch point, I would say I like it. Like the steering wheel, this is the same steering wheel from the Ativa. It does have leather wrap and the wrap, the leather is quite nice. It's a soft leather. So it feels like you are in an expensive car, right? I'm gonna accelerate. Of course, uh, this car, there are still some issues that I kind of wish for to address. Number one, the center armrest. So, <laughs> you know, with its rival, the Iris, they have an armrest already. So I wish for what did. Uh, to the armrest in general, but it's okay. There's a lot of armrest aftermarket available, so you can just go through Shopee or Lazada, you can find one, not an issue. But then the outer armrest, I really like the, the, the angle is quite nice. Putting uh, resting my arm on the armrest and then holding the steering wheel, I would say nice angle. Okay, um, I don't feel like uh, my, the, the angle of the armrest and the steering is really far. So, yeah, the outer armrest uh, comes up for me. Okay, so been driving the MyV for a while. Um, what can I say about the MyV? It's still a great little B segment package. Uh, it's a great car, very uh, a lot of value for money. So with the new features like the new uh, CVT gearbox, okay, and then you have a lot of uh, carried over features on the Aptiva like the steering, okay, the updated infotainment system, updated safety feature as well. It really does up um, the standard of uh, basic transportation uh, for the masses. Okay, so I really kudos Perdua for having, for bringing all of these features which usually reserved on a more expensive car into the mainstream car market. Okay, so others in the category will definitely have to step up their game lah, right? And then, uh, yeah, so overall, uh, in terms of performance, the new gearbox is definitely a win for me. Acceleration time has been improved, so now Perdua claims 0 to 100 in 10.2 seconds, I believe them. Upon full throttle, I can just see the needle goes up, 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 very leniently, okay, not an issue. Which something the old AT lacks, like it doesn't have that responsive feeling compared to this new uh, gearbox. Handling, I would say it's still a proton thing, but then not to say that the, the MyV uh, handling is uh, not good. It's still good for a B-segment car. Of course, uh, there are a lot of mods out there you can do to improve your MyV, alright? So overall, the MyV, as they say, the king of highway Malaysia, the king of on the road for Malaysia, pretty much can hand, can uh, hold on to its throne. Okay, a lot of these new feature will definitely still make the MyV a bestseller, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, overall with the MyV, uh, still a thumbs up for me. Uh, good little package. Prices for the Produa MyV here in Sarawak on the road without insurance start with the base MyV G Spec without PSDA going for 47,725 ringgit. Adding the PSDA system will add on an extra 2,000 ringgit to the price tag. The MyV 1.5X variant breaks the 50K price mark by selling at 51,925 ringgit. Moving up to the 1.5H variant and price is up by another 4,000 ringgit to 55,925 ringgit. Finally, the top of the range Produa MyV 1.5 AV for the first time will push the Produa MyV pricing over 60,000 ringgit with a price tag of 60,825 ringgit. All Produa MyVs come with a 5 year 150,000 km warranty and is certified 5 star crash test rating from the ASEAN NCAP. It is also worth mentioning that the Produa optional gear up accessories packages is also available for the MyV at your local Produa dealer. Everything from seat upholstery to sunshade as well as carpet mats are available to add on and can be included overall in your loan. With that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe and press the little bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post something new. I would like to say thank you for watching. Stay safe 
Take care and have a nice day.